All are welcome by Alexandra Penfold and Suzanne Kaufman. Pencils sharpened in their case. Bells are ringing. Let's make haste. School's beginning. Dreams to chase. All are welcome here. No matter how you start your day, what you wear, when you play, or if you come from far away, all are welcome here. In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and hope is found. Raise your hand, we'll go around. All are welcome here. Gather now, let's all take part. We'll play music. We'll make art. We'll share stories from the heart. All are welcome here. Time for lunch. What a spread. A dozen different kinds of bread. Pass it around till everyone's fed. All are welcome here. Open doors, rush outside. We will swing, we will slide. We'll have fun side by side. All are welcome here. We're part of a community. Our strength is our diversity. A shelter from adversity. All are welcome here. We will learn from each other. Special talents we'll uncover. There's a big world to discover. All are welcome here. So much to learn, so much to do. And when the busy day is through, Bye! Can't wait to come back, start anew. All are welcome here. Head for home to get some rest. And greet tomorrow ready and fresh. Our time together is the best. All are welcome here. Mm. You have a place here. You are welcome here. If I Built a School by Chris Van Dusen Jack on the playground said to Miss Jane The school is okay, but it's pitifully plain The builder who built this, I think should be banned It's nothing at all like the school I have planned If I built a school, the first thing you'd meet are lots of cute puppies They'd flock to your feet. But why stop at puppies? Why not a whole zoo? So I'd add a bunch of big animals too. Right off the lobby to get to your class, I'd set up a system of tubes made of glass. You hop in a pod, press the number, then zoom. In under 10 seconds, you're right at your room. 
all of the classrooms are built onto towers that sprout from the schoolyard like colorful flowers. And like giant petals that welcome the day, the roofs open up in a similar way. Panels fold back and they let in the sun, which frankly makes being there that much more fun. Now come see your classroom, isn't it grand? That free floating platform is where you would stand. And using a stylus, you write in the air. No blackboard, no whiteboard, no, nothing is there. Your words just appear and they magically glow. Don't ask how this works, cause I really don't know. But you're not the only one floating around. Check out the desks, they don't touch the ground. These are my hover desks, see how they glide? They even have bumpers in case you collide. In my kind of classes, we wouldn't have tests. I'd liven things up with some hologram guests. Here are some samples of what I've been thinking. You might meet a T-Rex or Abraham Lincoln. Hmm. The library is next, so let's have a look. You won't find your everyday regular book. These books come alive when removed from the racks. They pop up like pop-ups, but pop to the max. And if you're not sure what a book is about, you'll find out quite quickly when something pops out. Wow. It's off to the gym, and this place is so cool. Around it, please note my perimeter pool. The pool's a deep oval that everyone likes. You race underwater on submarine bikes. Up there is my trampoline basketball court. It's partly a bounce house and partly a sport. There's also a rock wall. And here's something new. I've added some skydiving wind tunnels too. I just heard the lunch bell, so let's go and eat. I'd like you to meet my new robo chef, Pete. He's 20 feet tall and he spins on a gear. You order your lunch in this microphone here. And Pete can make anything simple or weird. From PB and jelly to squid lightly seared. Mm. It's now time for recess. Let's head out the door. My playground is awesome. So much to explore. Fly on the zip line way up in the sky. Or slide down the twisty slide three stories high. And after all that, if you're hot and you're beat, then you can go tubing. Now that would be sweet. In art, we use sprayers to splash out the paint. In music, we're loud, but our teacher's a saint. And over in science, just one of the features is lab-grown, genetically modified creatures. We'll visit new places, travel, explore, cause we'll go on field trips, field trips galore. My specialty buses will tote us around. They dive on the water. They blast off the ground. And yes, they have wheels like our regular cars, which neatly retract when we rocket to Mars. My school will amaze you. My school will astound. By far the most fabulous school to be found. Perfectly planned and impeccably clean. On a scale 1 to 10, it's more like 15. And learning is fun in a place that's fun too. If I built a school, that's just what I do. The End Long 
Goes to Dragon School by Helen H. Wu, illustrated by May Besom. Today is the first day of Dragon School. Long is excited about his new adventure, and so are his classmates, Camilla, Willie, and Mia. Welcome to the class. We're here to discover your unique talents, Professor McKay says. First, we'll learn how to use our fire breath to cook food. I read that in a book. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'll be careful not to burn my toes. Oh no! Long worries. Well, I'm from Edward Breeze at Water, not Fire. Professor McKay gathers everyone and picks up a big potato. Who likes roasted potatoes? I do. I do. I do. I do. What can I do? I can't roast potatoes with water. Long thinks. Now watch closely. Professor McKay says. Relax your body. Focus your mind. Feel your power. Fire you'll find. A bright jet of fire comes out from Professor McKay's mouth. Frizzle, frazzle, fruz. And just like that, the potato is fire roasted and ready to eat. Now it's your turn, Professor McKay says. When you're ready, we'll have a picnic. Everyone will join in cooking the food. It's time to practice. Relax your body, focus your mind, feel your power. Fire you'll find. Camilla's face turns red. <coughs> Willie sneezes out a plume of smoke. <coughs> Mia coughs up a gob of ash. <coughs> Long huffs and puffs. But all that comes out is a shower of water. He taps his feet, thinking, "I have to look like I can breathe fire." Long looks around and sprinkles some dust on his nose. You'll find your own path, Professor McKay tells the class. It takes time and lots of practice. Mia blows out flames, and the potato cracks. Camila spews lava, and the potato turns to ash. <coughs> Willie burps fire, and the potato melts. Long only gushes out a spray of warm water. He fidgets and grabs some dark paint. Oops, my potato burned. You're making progress. Keep trying. Long finds a hidden place to practice, and practice, and practice some more. He concentrates. He meditates. He resorts to experimental methods. He tries drinking hot tea, eating spicy chili, and letting the sun warm his belly. But nothing works. Long only spouts out warm, warm water. This is hopeless. Long sighs. <sighs> At the end of the week, Professor McKay gathers the young dragons. Are you ready for a picnic? She asks. I'm ready. Asa, asa. Let's go. Camilla toasts marshmallows. Willie pops popcorn. Mia grills a fish. Well done, Long. Will you roast the pumpkin for us? Long nibbles on his claws. His tummy feels tickly and squeezy. Professor McKay, we won't have roasted pumpkin for our picnic. I will let everyone down. He cries. Because where I come from, dragons breathe out water, not fire. Long's heart aches. Professor McKay thinks for a moment. I didn't know that. We use water in cooking too. Take it easy and try your best. Long remembers what Professor McKay said. 
find your own path. He relaxes his body, focuses his mind, feels his power, and his hoss hoots. A jet of hot, hot steam shoots out of his mouth. But the pumpkin is not fire roasted. It is perfectly steamed. When Long looks up, the entire class is staring at him. Wow! When I breathe out water, it turns into hot steam. Long smiles. I found my unique talent. Smells good. This is cool. So yummy! So yummy! You're wonderful, Long. Could you steam more for us? Let me see what else I can steam. Together, the friends roast and steam, fill their bellies with delicious food, and have the most splendid picnic ever. Long's adventure at Dragon School has only just begun. The end. I promise. By LeBron James. Illustrated by Nina Mata. I promise to work hard and do what's right. To be a leader in this game of life. I promise to go to school and read as much as I can. To follow the rules and respect the game plan. I promise to run full court and show up each time. To get right back up. Ouch! And let my magic shine. Yay! I promise to be open and try new things. And enjoy the happy that change can bring. I promise to wear a big smile and use kindness when I speak. Hi there. I promise to ask for help whenever I need it, to reach for my star even when I can't see it. <laughs> I promise to ask questions hmm. and find answers. I got it. To believe in next time and second chances. I promise to use my voice and stand up for what's right. And when things get tough, to keep up the fight. I promise to stand tall, rise up, and give all that I've got. To throw the alley-oop and uplift others on the spot. I promise to respect my elders and peers the same, to leave new places better than I came. I promise to stay true, keep my head up, and never give up, no matter what. I promise to dream big and love bigger, to be a team player and a winner. I promise to cross bridges and break down walls. To rise with the sun and learn from the falls. Ouch! I promise to be courageous, to be free, to strive for greatness. I promise to be me. The end. Your promise. The I Promise School was inspired by the big dreams of kids in my hometown and around the world. It is a place committed to helping them and their families reach their full potential. At the start of every school year and repeated each morning, all students make a set of promises to themselves just like those in this book. Setting goals, working hard, and holding yourself accountable are the first steps to success. We're excited to have you join in this journey to achieve your goals. Here is our daily promise to get you started. Remember, nothing is given. Everything is earned. LeBron James I promise to 
go to school, to do all of my homework, to listen to my teachers because they will help me learn, to ask questions and find answers, to never give up no matter what, to always try my best, to be helpful and respectful to others, to live a healthy life by eating right and being active, to make good choices for myself, to have fun, and above all else, to finish school. Hashtag strive for greatness. Please subscribe.